What's going on guys? So I'm sure by now you've probably seen the video of the 24s on Larry. I am filming this prior to making that video go live, but I'm assuming there was probably a good bit of questions about the fitment on the truck. So for anyone new, three inch Rough Country spindle lift on it, two inch adapters from five to six lug, and then on the rear it also has an extra two inch spacer to make it equal with the front because the spindle lift pushes it out as well. So if we come in here, this right here is from the 22s rubbing, and then this is where I cut it to make the 33s with the bullet holes fit. And then we've got the front up here untouched. So very, very minimal trimming on this truck. We're gonna go take the truck for a real good drive and experience what it's like. And then we'll see how badly it's rubbing, where it's rubbing, what we would have to cut. But first things first, we gotta get to the gas station because this thing is running on fumes. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how freaking good Larry looks right now? Looks like that deep forest green right now. Oh my gosh, Larry, you freaking stud. It looks literally insanely good. I'm gonna stick y'all up here on the front fender and we're gonna go cruise, take some nice turns and stuff and see if I can't give y'all a good angle and see where we're rubbing at. side and I really don't want to do that so here's a scenario where you kind of got to think because we got a boatload of traffic coming both ways and I'm not really willing to risk it because we're probably gonna have to turn into the other lane we'll see we'll see let's test it we did it we were able to stay in our lane force on the truck to go hill climbing. Let's see if uh, Larry likes this or not. Lord. 
Lord help us, we rub it. All right, so we didn't get into that. Let's look right here, see if we got any marks. We got a little couple scratches on our tire. So we're rubbing right there. So we could honestly, dude, if we could just lop that corner off and it not rub, you know how insane that would be? Because I could totally see myself running this setup like all the time. Right there is a little bit of mud. Obviously, it probably would get into this, and that is some metal. Let's check over here. Okay, we didn't get into this bedside either. So <laughs> that is uh, very promising. That makes me feel a lot better. Dude, Larry is just a freaking beast. I, I, this video, honestly, is probably a little rambly at this point. Dude, follow me on the IG because Larry is putting out fire right now. Wild Larry appears. Hey, pull out of here. There's a little ridge. We'll see if uh, see how close we are. So we're out here in the field, pretty much flat, so it shouldn't articulate too much, but do take into account Larry does not have a front sway bar. All right, we're rubbing right there. Honestly, not too shabby, but Yes, dude, it's just right there on that baby corner. <laughs> That's crazy. I genuinely thought it was going to rub so much more. So, like, the 22s and 33s, like, this was rubbing, but this is, like, flat. So, the tires were still out farther than this fender. I'm genuinely thinking if we chop this piece right here, just this corner off, not, like, hack this whole thing up or anything ugly, just this corner, this thing could probably turn all the way okay so it's nowhere near the front yet because we haven't been able to turn far enough so okay so it does look like it rubbed right here over but i don't know if that was when we were flexing going off-road a little bit or not let's cut it back the other way and see if it changes at all okay that would be half a turn that would be three quarters okay so three quarters of one turn anyways right there it's pretty good all right oh okay so maybe we maybe we turned it farther so it does look like we would get into that and then if we kept turning we probably would get into that metal right there but for sure would get into that but this is the farthest i've turned it for sure oh gosh dog duke okay so we got past that part right here let's look under here dude we're clear we are clear. So once it goes past, pushes this back a little bit and it's got in there, obviously this would tear your tires up if you did it a lot. And maybe it is just because the gladiators have such wide, like far out large lugs that this is the worst. So it might even not be as bad if you had like some hiatus or something like that. But dude, she's clearing. Come on, come on. Try not to get in the dog dude and show y'all. So for sure, if we kept going, we could get back to right there and then it might start rubbing there again. But it's crazy how much bigger they look on Larry. Larry is such a smaller overall body truck than the Silverado or any new truck. Gosh dang, boy. So when we went down that hill, I haven't looked at the footage yet. Oh, 
Okay, we might have just done this pulling into the field, honestly. So we actually did rub the bottom of this fender flare. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe just touched it, but not, not too bad. Not, not bad, Larry, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try not to flex so much with you, bud. So there she is, guys. If you have a truck like this and you're wanting to run a similar setup, is it daily driver friendly? No, I would say it's definitely not daily driver friendly, but it is definitely drivable. If you're one of those people that are like, I don't give a rip, I'll drive however I want to and run whatever setup, even if it's a complete struggle just for the truck to look amazing, then there you go. This is definitely your setup because it does look absolutely amazing in my opinion. The rear, obviously we could lift it and then not have any of those rubbing issues. So for any of you Ford gurus or just suspension gurus in general, I need to know what I need to get in order to raise Larry higher. I don't know if I want to do a leveling kit spacer or if I do want to do the coals. I'd rather it not ride like a brick, but when I did have the truck jacked up, putting these on, it looked insane and it was huge. So I'd like to raise it up some, but I know the factory camber is not, it's not gonna fly because there's not any adjustment. I think it was this side or the other side has the factory bolts where there's no adjustment. Um, with these spindle lifts, uh, this three inch and I believe Earl's four inch. I'm getting Earl aligned tomorrow So hopefully I'm not gonna eat those, these words, but they basically keep the same geometry So you don't have any problems with not being able to get it aligned properly But when you go any higher, that's when you run into issues where you can't get your camber right and they're sucked in And so that's my thing. I'm kind of having a hard time finding information about that I know there's some kind of like bushing flip kits or something for those uh, it's just I don't know there's maybe it's because they're old trucks there's just not that much out there on them anymore you would think they would have all the answers on the internet maybe they are I'm just looking from the wrong spot but definitely comment down below let me know what I'd need to go higher on this and what brand and where to get it and stuff because I do want to raise Larry up more front higher and then put the lift on the rear and just have Larry sitting tall but I want to do it the correct way safe and um, be able to get the alignment done properly. But that's about gonna do it for this video, guys. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the Larry content. Definitely comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And with that being said, I'm out of here. <laughs>